Hello guys, my name is Casey Haddock with Acoustic Collectibles. In this video, we're going to be talking about how our catalytic converter got stolen off our coin mobile Tic Tac before the shirt show in San Antonio. As you guys know, Drew and I like to go the distance to get the coins and the inventory that we need to service you guys and to bring about the best collections possible. And in doing so, we need to drive a lot of miles and use a lot of fuel. And that's the reason why we got Tic Tac. Tic Tac is a 2007 Toyota Prius, like we mentioned in a previous video. It gets roughly 45 miles to the gallon, which is much better than our Avalon or the Camry that we used to drive. And with this down, with us not able to drive it because of the catalytic converter and the noise, um, it's affecting our business. And like we mentioned in a previous video, Drew's been sick, I was sick before him, so we've been going through a lot trying to make it through the month of May. And we would appreciate uh, prayers, if you will, and well wishes. Um, a few days ago, so we've had this car for about four weeks, a few days ago, um, our dad was borrowing it to go to work and uh, went in at 10, came back out at 5, and when he went to start the car, he realized that somebody had stolen the catalytic converter off the bottom of our car. As you can see right here in the photo, that is the pipe leading up to the catalytic converter. The catalytic converter would be right here in this empty spot, right here and it leads up and it connects with a flange up in this area to where the engine's at. As you can see, dangling down right here, there is an O2 sensor that has been snipped. There's two O2 sensors. So what would happen is it would meet up with the flange to take the exhaust fumes into the catalytic converter, convert the catalytic converter fume, convert the emission fumes into something that is good for the environment. It would pass through this O2 sensor come down into the muffler and exit the vehicle and I believe there's another O2 sensor in this general area but yep they jacked up the car they made an incision here and they made an incision over here by the flange they were probably in and out within a minute two minutes and uh, yep three thousand dollars in damage some people pay thousands of dollars for aftermarket exhausts for their vehicle so it sounds awesome rolling down the road. We didn't end up paying anything for this exhaust. So we're going to give you a little taste of Tic Tac's roar here, okay? Jealous? I think so. So, what the gentleman or gentlewoman did when they came to steal the catalytic converter is they went and they jacked up the Prius on both sides by the jack point. They weren't really concerned about damaging the rocker panel on each side, so you do have a nice big dent on either side. Um, what they ended up doing was jacking it up, getting underneath, cutting the O2 sensor, and cutting the uh, catalytic converter off so from an emissions perspective we're not um, compliant with emissions and if I've, heard, I've, I've read and I've looked at multiple videos saying if you don't go to reinstall a catalytic converter that there may be some fuel consumption issues with your vehicle and it may have some negative effects so um, we're working with our insurance company to see what goes on, but uh, some tragic stuff. I'm glad that nobody was hurt, especially my dad. Um, there was a family friend of ours that was overlooking a church parking lot on a Sunday right after Easter, and he caught a few gentlemen wandering around in the parking lot looking at vehicles inspecting vehicles underneath and 
he noticed that they were taking car parts off and he ended up following them down the road and upon pursuing them and getting their information uh, one of them pulled a gun on him and shot him in the face so this is very dangerous stuff that we're talking about here and we want you to be safe um, not only with just your vehicle but with uh, transporting coins or cash or bullion of any kind so please watch your back uh, travel in twos preferably um, have protection um, try to drive straight through if possible um, just watch out let's fast forward to numbers and metrics that are important to you with these older Toyota Priuses the catalytic converters are very dense in precious metals like palladium and platinum and to get this replaced at the dealership you're looking at three thousand dollars and at a general service um, mechanic you're looking at twenty two hundred dollars right and a few weeks ago I was reading through some of the comments on the purchase of this vehicle and Doug from Houston ended up writing make sure that you get a lock and gas cap for your vehicle and keep your head on a swivel right and looking back at that comment I think uh, that is so valuable I think that we're in unprecedented times especially when it comes to car theft and part theft off of vehicles so stay safe out there watch your back um, if you're allowed to carry carry and uh, we'll be thinking about you guys. I was looking at various catalytic converter shields online that they provide for this scenario. Okay, people get their catalytic converter stolen, so they put a plate up there. Um, in addition to the shield, I was looking at various other videos. One video that was produced by the Houston Police Department where they mentioned, okay, to prevent catalytic converter theft, what they recommend you do is take a high temperature uh, fluorescent paint of some kind and paint the catalytic converter and then etch your your last eight digits of your VIN or your license plate and HPD so when the police department goes and they look at these catalytic converters at recycling plants and junkyards they know that these are stolen that they need to investigate this and what ends up happening is the Houston Police Department goes about confiscating these questionable catalytic converters and the recycling place and the junkyard is out of the money that they pay the people that brought them. So a lot of these places that receive these catalytic converters do not take these because of those issues. In conclusion, this setback does cost us money, um, does bring a concern to our mind, but at the end of the day, um, we have taken on the challenge of running our own business and supporting ourselves and it may be difficult at times but I think that Drew and I were uh, built for this challenge and uh, this opportunity so uh, thanks again for watching please watch over yourselves and your loved ones and uh, we will be praying for all of you alrighty so a lot has happened with the car so far and we are thankful you guys are able to see it and hopefully uh, it gets resolved over time just a very unfortunate set of events and uh, but yeah we ended up going to the shirt show this weekend bought a few things but this is probably the coolest thing we got this weekend it was a gift from our friend over at Royal Coins his name's Sonny Blake's dad actually and uh, he gave us this because he ended up buying this 32d Washington quarter and not realizing that the mint mark was added at the time and then he ended up giving this to us as a gift and a, a, a learning tool. So we're going to show you that right now. Here's the mint mark that was added to the coin. As you can see, the mint mark really has that really pronounced D to it. Most of the time you're going to have a D that's really kind of squinched together. There's not going to be a huge gap in the center like this one. And the D on every 32D is a lot higher than this one. This one's actually a little bit drooped down as well. So... Um, Keep an eye out for fake 32Ds out there. Um, and when we were talking about kind of, uh, you know, talking about the 16D Mercury dime, that's, the D normally is kind of worked into the coin a little bit, which means it has a lot of wear. Just like out and the rest of the high points kind of get over time. This one really looks like it's uh, 
If it was legit, it'd probably be on like an AU or MS type of coin. But like I said, it has to be more scrunched together, but the condition of the D looks really strong. So um, we hope you guys learn a little bit from this as well. Show you a little coin in this video. But we will get back to our scheduled broadcasting on Wednesday after we share, uh, sh our, share our CAC submissions and a few things we have in the works. But thank you guys for taking a look at this coin.